Hey. We are in. Woo! We are live. Live Amazing. and uncut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. So, <laughs> hello. Amazing. <laughs> it, is, it is noon. Lisa has her coffee. I have my drink of, it was coffee. Now Cheers. it is water. Cheers at, to you, Lisa. Look at my <laughs> my coffee has a penguin on it. It's amazing. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, I have a good. giraffe as a cup. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> wow. Hello. <laughs> All right. Hey, Lucila, welcome. Nice. And welcome, guys. Welcome to our 12 p.m. webinar. Okay, yeah, so hello. if you don't know us already, so my name is Lisa. I'm one of the teachers at MyES Maravilli. I'm from Ireland um, and I've been living in Italy for two and a half years. So nice to see you all today. Sean, would you like to introduce yourself? Nice to see everyone or read everyone's comments. I am Sean. I come from Grand Island, New York, a very small island that nobody knows. Uh, I've been living in Milan for four years and Lisa and I are colleagues at Medavi um, in Milan, okay? Mm -hmm. So guys, how about now if you want, Lucila, Mariangela and whoever else, tell us where you are from. Yes, exactly. Tell us where you're from or what school you, you attend. If it's in Milan, uh, please let us know. Um, so yeah, so for today, while you guys are writing to us, just to explain what we're going to talk about uh, is visiting an art gallery. Okay, something unfortunately in Milan we cannot do at the moment. <laughs> because everything is closed. closed. Everything is closed. Um, mm -hmm. But <laughs> in general, I don't know about you, Sean. I, I love going to art galleries. I, 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 very I love it too. Them. Actually, Lisa and I, both are from, uh, both love to draw and paint, correct, Lisa? Yes, yes, exactly. We're both artsy. Yeah, we are <laughs> we're, artsy. We're artsy people. <laughs> Lucilla, thank you. All Italy is closed. Yes, you are correct. All right, excellent. Everything so is from closed. Turin. Uh, Mariangela, I know you are from Italy, but can you be a little more specific, Mariangela? Yeah, where? Where in Italy? What part of Italy? And anybody else who's following, please comment. Okay, yes. that's what we are here for. Yes. And also let us know if you like art. Okay, if yeah. you like art, if you're artsy like us, uh, because what we say, people who, who like art or who like to paint, to draw, we can call them artsy people artsy so artsy or creative right you think yeah exactly yeah mm -hmm. excellent so usually for hey. example ah sisley excellent so usually for example lisa and i we live in milan okay mm -hmm. and there are many art galleries and museums okay um what, for example, whenever we go to the museum, uh, why, Lisa, do you like going to the museum? So, <laughs> um, when I go to a museum, I don't. I find it um, just. I find it really relaxing, and also really, it's inspirational. Uh, yeah, it's inspirational good. because um, you get to to kind of. There's something about museums. It's very quiet, very open. And you get to to look around, um, and also just I don't know, you take in all of these different pieces of art or sculptures. Um, Ooh, so yeah, I think in. it's Lisa. Yes. What can we what what can we use for take in? Take in is a great word that we use often. I I guess when you take in something, uh, it's like you absorb it. Uh, you you experience it in a way that it it impacts you. Uh, to take in something like mm -hmm. uh, to take in the uh, the view, for example, if you're uh, ab absor absorb with a B, absorb, it is absorb with it with oh with a absorb. B. Thank you. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh. 
you're just so enthusiastic with the typing. There we go, yeah. absorb. Uh, like for example, on uh, if you're in the mountains, you take in the view. It's like you just stand and you absorb the view. You enjoy it. You enjoy it as well. So yeah, we absorb it and we t we uh, we enjoy it at the same time usually. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, hello, Pasquale. Amazing. Giovanni is from Salerno. Um, Amalfi welcome. Coast. Oh, amazing. You guys are from some beautiful places. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to look at today. So, just to go into what is in this focus. So, we're going to practice. So, as, as well with visiting an art gallery, we're going to practice giving opinions. Okay. So, giving our opinions on what we think about something. Okay. What we think and um, what we like, what is our favorite, things like this. To practice also the simple past. Okay. So, talking using the simple past. Okay. And also, just in general, some art vocabulary as well, art vocabulary. Okay, so question before, from... Sh before yes. we get any further, everybody looking at this photo, what is the name of this painting? Because in Italian, it is one name, but mm. it, for the rest of the world, it's another, okay? Mm -hmm. So what True. do you guys think it is? What's the name? So yeah, guys, Artus, and just, just to mention, so Lucilla, just what you say there, uh, we would say... I am alone. I am alone in North Italy. Okay, I am alone in North Italy. Okay, so we'd use to be in that sentence because we say I am alone. And also following, <laughs> very good Lisa, also following, uh, we have there is the Jaconda and I don't like, I don't like, we just need the object, we mm -hmm. need to add. It. Exactly. I don't like it. Okay. Exactly. Does anyone know the English name, or mm -hmm. not the English name, but the name that we know in English for this painting? Okay, everyone is the other name. <laughs> it's okay. I'll give them a hint. Mona. <laughs> <laughs> Mona. <laughs> Mona. I'm hinting. I'm hinting. <laughs> they will get it. I believe in you guys, Mariangela Pesco. There it is. Okay. Yay. Great Mona. job, Giovanni <laughs> e Lucilla. Excellent. Yes. This is actually a painting of me. Uh, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mona Lisa. Very good. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, and just uh, if we take a look at what uh, Pasquale said, uh, so just a sentence there. So we would probably say it is called. Okay, ah, so um, so either we can say this in two ways. Okay, we could say it is called La Jaconda or the Mona Lisa, uh, or the name is, okay, the name is, okay, so it is called, or the name is, uh, but normally the most common one we say, we use is, it is called, mm -hmm. it is called. Or we could simply just say, it is. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. just to, to bring it down. Exactly. All right. Very good, guys, excellent. Okay. Excellent Amazing. collaboration this morning or afternoon. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. You guys have all had your coffee. That's great. Uh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> to discuss. Okay. So to discuss a little bit here. Um, so just give us your opinions. Okay. Your opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to, to discuss this a little bit about art in general. Uh, so as we said, so these are some questions. So do you like art? Do you prefer modern or traditional art? And how often, okay, how often do you visit art galleries? Okay. okay. Um, so as I said, so as we said at the beginning, so myself and Sean like art. Um, Sean, do you prefer tr modern or traditional art or do you have a preference? Mm. Difficult question, Lisa, because I 
appreciate all types of art because mm. what Lisa said before is she goes to art galleries for inspiration. I do too. I go for inspiration, so I like seeing both modern and traditional art. I think today I prefer modern art. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so it depends as well. Yeah, I'm the same. I like I like both. I like both. Okay. Um so very good, you... Giovanni. All right. Uh -huh. Giovanni says I like art and I prefer watching traditional art. Ooh, so watching, remember watching is always going to be for tv television or could we also say for example sports yeah watching Lisa? sports uh when it's mm -hmm. a video basically once yeah. it's a video if it's something that moves you watch it so like a video for watching sports watching tv series watching a film um mm -hmm. but yeah so does anyone know what we use instead there we go <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sean. <laughs> I read I okay. read your mind. <laughs> exactly. So looking, yeah. So we would say, I prefer looking at traditional art, okay? Mm -hmm. Looking at. Because mm -hmm. when something is static, okay? So it's static, it doesn't move. We usually say to look at, mm -hmm. okay? So looking at uh, art or looking at a picture, for example, mm -hmm. to look at a picture. Exactly. And Giovanni, don't forget looking at. We need that preposition. Very important. Okay, Mariangela yeah. says, I prefer visiting modern art. Now, visiting modern art, galleries. Okay, we need a place when we visit. Okay, exactly. whenever either, we visit. Exactly. So either a place or a person to visit. Mm -hmm. And very good, Pasquale. You like, you don't mind. Okay, art, but I prefer traditional art. Okay. So does everyone know that? When we say I don't mind, it's like, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, I'm not really, like, I don't love it, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> so maybe instead of saying I don't mind art, maybe I would say I don't care for art. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, I don't care for, yeah, it, in that case, maybe you're not very concerned. It's not very important to you. Okay, Lucilla, uh, very good. So, or Lucilla, sorry. Uh, very no, good. It's Lucilla. I don't care it's Lucilla. For, you got Lucilla. it, girl. Lucilla. Okay, because yeah. sometimes people pronounce it different. Um, okay, so I visited the world's most important museums. Mm -hmm. and, and galleries oh galleries on the world. so we would say galleries in the world okay galleries in the world okay so the most important museums and galleries in the world yeah very good yeah, guys don't worry prepositions are something that take a lot of practice in english they are uh, a so, monster <laughs> yeah they're terrible uh, <laughs> so don't worry it takes a lot of practice with prepositions so honestly don't worry uh, making these small mistakes because they're very 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 common okay they're very common okay really good okay so i that's amazing lucila that you've uh, gone to some of the most important museums and galleries. Mm -hmm. um, for you, Sean, what has been your favorite gallery that you've visited? Ooh, um, my favorite gallery that I've ever visited. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. My, it's a very small gallery, and it's called, and some of us up in the north of, of Italy and also the south might know, it's Casa Bosco di Stefano. And it's a small oh. little, it's a small house in Milan that has a really nice collection of some uh, modern Italian artists. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. How Amazing. about for you? I must go there sometimes. So yeah. actually, I agree with Lucilla. Uh, I, my favorite that I visited is the MoMA. Mm -hmm. uh, the muse so if anyone doesn't know, the MoMA is the Museum of of modern art exactly. okay the museum of modern art because i also like architecture 
Uh, so even just in terms of how that museum is, and also it has architecture on display, lots of different interesting things. Uh, I really enjoyed when I visited the MoMA. Yeah, it's very um, beautiful. Okay, and just to say, so here looking at uh, Lucia's comments, so we would say, when we say one of, so one of my favorites, so we actually use the plural there because we're talking about a group. Okay, one of my favorites is, okay, uh, the MoMA, or yeah, for example, the MoMA. Uh, and yeah, in Turin, I, I've seen that actually, the, the, the Egyptian museum. I think that's very famous in Turin. Mm -hmm. I've okay. heard of it too. I've never been there, but it's a, I hear it's a very, very good museum to go to. Yeah, I need to visit when when everything calms down. I need to visit Turin again and to actually mm -hmm. go to the museums and things. Okay, amazing. And then how often? So of my favorites. Oh, we must go to Abu Dhabi. Ah, <laughs> oh, <the Louis> too. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I don't know about this. Do they have a second Louvre in Abu Dhabi? Yes, I look. I never have been to the first one. I need to now go to both okay. Louvre one and Louvre two. Me either. Me either. Yeah, I think I'll go to the first one first. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and then obviously this is how often when we talk about, uh, so how how many times maybe per month, per year, usually with museums, it's probably per year, I would imagine, uh, to museums and art galleries. No, it's per week. Come on, girl, <laughs> per week. <laughs> you have a, an annual pass to museums, do you? <laughs> yeah. I look yeah. for the, my favorite museums are the, free museums exactly that's what i was going to say in milan if you're lucky enough to to visit milan on the first sunday of every month the first sunday every month uh you're talking about um that all like most of the museums are free entry free entry so we're very lucky and i think other parts of italy probably do something like this as yep. well okay so mari Mariangela there, so you said, so we would probably say sometimes, okay, sometimes, or right, you could so I say, sometimes, okay, sometimes visit art galleries. Perfect, okay, sometimes visit art galleries. Excellent. Okay, really good. So yeah, so just remember how often we're talking about frequency. So... Please keep writing to us and tell us about your experiences. So what we're going to look at as well, here are some different styles. Ah, okay, some okay. different styles uh, of art. Okay, and, and also we're going to talk about- the question already of which do you guys like, just so we can start the dialogue. Exactly, exactly, perfect. So I'm gonna go through them here. Uh, I may get these wrong. <laughs> okay, so picture A that we're looking at here. So this is called. I would say okay. that is abstract. abstract. Abstract, okay, so abstract. So in general, something that's abstract, it's maybe idealistic. It's not, you have to interpret you have to interpret what uh, what is happening in the painting, in the art, uh, depending on if it's any abstract type of art. Uh, okay, so it's kind of, I guess we would say conceptual, mm -hmm. conceptual. Mm -hmm. And it's open to interpretation as well, because oh. different people, yeah, different people can see different things in abstract art. And then in picture B, okay, so picture B here. This is an example of surrealist, okay, surrealist art. So it's surrealist as well because uh, you can say like uh, Dali, isn't Salvador Dali, he's a surrealist painter as well um, because it's kind of taking something that we know and changing it completely. Okay, so it, 
I would say surrealist art creates a dreamlike, a dreamlike image. Okay, it's surreal. It's quite dreamlike. Something is surreal. Very good. Great vocab. I love it. Dreamlike. <laughs> and then picture C. Okay, so this is actually just a portrait. Okay, mm -hmm. so a portrait. Uh, so when we do a portrait, it's usually the face of someone. Okay, so portrait art. The same can be used. So portrait photography. So portrait photography, when someone takes a photo of someone's face, okay? Uh, so in painting a portrait and also in photography. Yeah. And also too, for example, though, if we have portrait, what if we show the whole body or if we talk about the figure? Does anyone know what we call paintings or artwork that are focused on the figure? Do, do we have an example of this in letter E? Ah, exactly. Yeah, okay, so if anyone knows what letter E is, okay. The thing is, though, is I think they're going to call it something else in letter E. Ah, okay. Because I'm looking for, for example, we have abstract, but then we also have the focus on, for example, guys, figurative, figurative work. Ah, okay. Sorry, I thought you were to take something. I, I was, <laughs> it's okay. I was moving in that direction, Lisa. <laughs> because, because when I studied art in school, like the focus on the figure, we, we would often just call still life. Still life. Really? Really? Yeah, still life drawing. But maybe that's a UK versus US thing. It could be possibly, yeah. Because D, maybe. for example... D is going to be our still life. Okay. And E. True. Sorry. E, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no. And E is more so, for example, the, you can call it classic art, the classics, mm -hmm. or we also call it. Renaissance. Oh, exactly. The renaissance of things. All right. Yeah. Renaissance. Um, yeah, because actually. I'm trying to remember now. Maybe I'm getting confused. Maybe we called still life for objects when you paint objects, and also for maybe we maybe our art teacher taught us wrong. No, <laughs> no, nobody ever. No. Um, but for the most part, I mean that's kind of the two separate studies: is you have yeah. abstract and then you have figurative, and so still life fits under figurative. Figurative, okay, of course. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> now I'm relearning what I know. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then also in F, okay, so what we have here, it's a very, very famous painting. Okay, I think most people know it. Uh, so this is called Impressionist Art. Okay, Impressionist Art. Uh, does anyone Don't know who artist, painted Lisa. this? Don't say the artist, Lisa. Don't say the artist. Yeah, no, I just said, does anyone know who painted it? <laughs> It's very, very uh, famous, very well known. <laughs> while, we're, while we're waiting for the answers, I'm just going to go on to G. So G is a oh, very scary. Giovanni, excellent. Amazing. He hit it, Lisa. Boom. Van Gogh. Very okay. good. Van Gogh. And Vincent Van Gogh. What's interesting is we pronounce Gog as Go. Correctly, so you yes. pronounce it like Van Gogh. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Although I know some people who also pronounce it Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Ah, Van, Van, Gogh Gogh. Van Gogh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what country that comes from, but yeah. So here it's Van Gogh. Uh, we usually say Van Gogh, and some people say Van Gogh. Van Gogh is open for interpretation. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> the name and the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what impressionist art is as well. Again, it's like, um, it's, it, I suppose we, we could say it's, it's a little bit abstract as well in its own way. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Sean, you, you went to art school, you know more about this. Don't you? No, no, I like it. Um. <laughs> Oops, I just hit the table. Um, okay, and also G then is a, a very scary example of uh, a sculpture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 
uh, obviously a sculpture of a spider, um, but it's a bit terrifying. Obviously, there are lots of different types of sculptures. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are different types of sculptures. What does anyone know? Um, what are the sculptures called that are of people? It's similar in Italian. Uh, um. Okay, sorry, I've lost my. Uh, okay. <laughs> are you back? It's okay. Yeah, it's, sorry, I, no worries. I I lost the ah. the presentation keeps disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> I can see everything. If it if it helps you at all, Lisa, I can see everything. Okay. I don't know what's happening. It's like the the thing is moving. Uh, anyway, okay. <laughs> um, okay, and then the last one. So just to look at H as well. Mm -hmm. Is landscape a landscape painting? Very good. And before we we move off of the page, I just yes, want to ask want... real quick to everybody. The name of sculptures of people, what do we call that specific sculpture? If anyone knows. We're going to get there, I believe. Of course. How's the how's the computer, Lisa? All good? <laughs> it's, it's okay. The screen yeah. just went black for a second, and I could still hear you, so I was very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's all good now. Uh, clearly, I clicked something I shouldn't have. Um, oh, you're fine. So we have it here. It they are statues. Okay? Statues, exactly. Statues. So, like Sean said, so statues are the sculptures of people. Okay, mm -hmm. the sculptures of people. Which obviously in Italy there are a lot of beautiful statues in a lot of the Italian museums. Exactly. And a lot of famous statues. Mm -hmm. um, so did anyone answer us on our original question? Did anyone answer about what is your favorite or what, what you like and don't like? It seems like most of us talked about some like different types. Some prefer traditional art. Um, Lucila likes both uh, modern and traditional. Uh, Mariangela never visits art galleries. Um, hmm. so for the most part, I think that we have a general appreciation of art. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So then, uh, what we will do is to move on to the next part. Okay. Um, okay. So looking at, so using our, uh, vocabulary that we had there so the different styles mm -hmm. okay different styles okay so thinking about the different styles that we talked about so this question is what's your favorite kind of art so remember mm -hmm. when we say what's your favorite kind it's like what's your favorite type what's your favorite type of something so exactly. the same if i say what's your favorite kind of fruit what's your mm -hmm. favorite type of fruit um, so this is an example. My favorite kind of art is sculpture. Okay, my favorite kind of art is sculpture. Mm -hmm. And the same, you could say, what is your favorite kind of film? Uh, similar to your favorite type of film. Okay, so you can use this question this way. So let us know from the ones we looked at, what is your favorite kind of art? Uh, like the different styles. Mm -hmm. And also, who's your favorite artist or sculptor? Okay, so the sculptor is the person who actually makes. So a sculptor makes the sculpture. Okay, so sculptor. So artist is the person who paints or draws. And a sculptor is the person who makes. Very good. Yeah, exactly. So sculpt is a verb. Sculpt is a verb. Um, okay. So... Guys, How tell about us for you, though? For me, um, it always changes, I'll be honest. Uh, it really depends. Like, when I was younger, this will show you what I was like as a teenager, uh, my favorite artist was Salvador Dali. Yeah, mine too. I, yeah. I, loved, I loved all surrealism. Ah. Um, have you ever heard of Lisa of Yves Tanguy or Miro? No. <laughs> well, oh my goodness. You have to search for Unless example. maybe I have a very bad memory, so maybe I did and it's been a long time. 
Eve's Tangy. Okay, this is a fame. Ex explain what this is. What is it? <laughs> so, Eve's Tangy and Jean Miro are two other artists that are in the surrealist type of work. Okay. Ah, so, okay. so Joe Miro and also Yves Tanguy, for example, Salvador Dali represents uh, people, represents figures, where Joe Miro and Yves Tanguy are more abstract surrealism. Ah, okay. Okay, I have to take a look because I, unfortunately, I have a very bad memory for <laughs> Uh, yeah. So if I take a look, I might recognize some of their stuff yeah. from from mm -hmm. school. But um, yeah, un unfortunately, I'm like I look at something five years later. I'm like, oh, that was it. Ah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then that happens to me too. Um, but for example, yeah. I think Salvador Dali is the most one of the most important artists of the 20th century for sure. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Very, we would say he was very influential. Ooh, we say very I like influential? that. <laughs> influential. I probably did not spell it correctly, to be honest with you. No, I think you're, that's perfect. Influential. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> influential. Yeah. Uh, he, he was an influencer before there were influencers. <laughs> oh, ho. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so guys, let us know your favorite artist, your favorite sculptor, oh, or your favorite Pasquale. kind of art. Kind. Ah. My favorite kind of art is landscapes. Very good. So you like landscape painting. Um, do you? Yeah. Do you know Pasquale? Do you know any? Um, do you have a specific artist that you like? Anyone else as well? Let us know your favorite type, your favorite kind of art, or your favorite artist or sculptor. Um, I'm trying to think. Also, I remember I loved um, a lot of like Italian art when I was um, when I was in in school um, studying art. But also, I remember we studied a lot of architects. Oh, Nico. Okay, my favorite artist is Michelangelo. Wow. Very good. Okay. Michelangelo, excellent. And remember, favorite with an E at the end. Favorite. Favorite. Excellent. Okay, perfect. And also, just to mention, so you can see Pasquale, you used favorite with a U. That's perfectly fine because that's the UK spelling. Okay, that's yeah. the British English spelling. So it's okay to, uh, exactly, it's okay to spell it with an O because that's American English. And then with a U is UK English. So it's perfectly fine both ways. Mm -hmm. Ah, and Pasquale, no, I haven't an artist. If we use haven't, we need to always have got. Okay. I haven't got an artist. Or once again, staying on the theme of British or, Eng or UK and American, an American would just use... Lisa, do you know? <laughs> huh? Uh, I don't have. I yeah, don't, exactly. I don't. I, uh? I don't have a favorite. Wouldn't we say? Mm. Wouldn't we have to say I don't have a favorite or I don't have a favorite artist? Yeah, you could say exactly. So once again, staying with the theme, I don't have a favorite artist or I haven't got a favorite artist. Very good. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Okay, really good. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you for your comments. Uh, so feel free to keep writing to us. Let us know also if you have any questions about mm -hmm. some of the things we say. Uh, if you're unsure, please feel free. So then looking at some description terms. Okay, so some, these are uh, a lot of adjectives. Okay, mm -hmm. so some adjectives to describe pictures. Okay, so, so to describe, sorry, not pictures, paintings, or yeah, pictures, I guess. Um, okay, so we're going to look for the opposites. Okay, so the first one we're looking at is colorful. Okay, so Sean, what do you think is the opposite of colorful? Or guys, write to us if you can see the opposite of colorful. Let's see. Well, we have modern, dull, boring, linear, sad, or horrible. 
Now, <laughs> colorful is something that is that is kind of like exciting, mm -hmm. but here it could be, I think it's going to be dull. I think so too. <laughs> dull. So well, let's yes. think of another synonym for dull. Could it be dull. like new, neutral? Yeah, uh, neutral, definitely. Or, neutral or co even, colors. even gray, maybe. Yeah. Exactly. I think um, dull, yeah, because dull is kind of without color. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, also, maybe, I guess, sometimes dull can be a little bit dark as well, a little okay. bit dark. Could we say um, like monochrome? Mm, very, it, we could. That's very advanced. But yes, we could. <laughs> Mono, uh, mon, mon, monotone as well. Do we say monotone? Yeah, we could say monotone as well. Um, yeah. But I. I'm just looking at because I know that, for example, in Italian, they also use the monochromatica. So therefore, dull, monochrome, they could make a nice connection there. Ah, okay. very and monotone, good. Okay, so monotone is easier. fantastic because tone and chrome yeah. are always to talk about color. Tone, chrome. Mm. Yeah. Okay, really good. Excellent. And then our next one is natural. Okay. Ooh, um. So, what like do we us. think is the opposite? We are natural. <laughs> exactly. We we are natural at YouTube. We are very natural uh -huh. at YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Naturals. Uh. So, and something natural, the opposite of natural. Hmm. I would say probably the opposite of natural would be linear. Linear. Uh, you think? Excellent. Uh -huh. I, yeah. Carl, I thank you, Carl. He is yeah. all natural. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all natural. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carl. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. So now um, for, for Giovanni, he says modern. Now, what do we think? If something modern is new, what's a synonym for something old? Okay, let's go ahead and try it out, guys. What's the synonym on our list for old? Okay, old. And yeah, and just to explain, like linear is like, for example, my jumper is linear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, uh, linear and also a lot of abstract art can be quite linear because it's it's very kind of straight forward. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas natural obviously to do with people, uh, what you see, but based on <clears throat> landscapes, things like this. Uh, ah, very good, Giovanni. You got traditional. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay. okay. Excellent. So yeah, traditional. Um, and also we have nice and the opposite <laughs> is horrible. Yeah, it is. I like nice. Everything is nice. Remember that guys. Everything yeah. is nice. Nice. Okay, obviously this is relating to art in terms of a person. You wouldn't say the opposite of a nice person is a horrible person, or you could, but yeah. <laughs> you could, but horrible is just very severe. It's very strong. Yeah, for people, <laughs> nice and not nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not nice is a bit more polite, shall we yeah, say. exactly. <laughs> and then exactly like we said, traditional the opposite to modern mm -hmm. okay and then very difficult happy oh the opposite of i think it might be drum roll sad yep sad okay so yeah because obviously you can describe a painting as it's very happy maybe because it has happy colors uh, or it's very sad because maybe it's very depressing uh, mm -hmm. the content of it and then interesting we have boring boring so remember everyone um as we've said before boring uh, sometimes people get it confused with annoying ah, in english yeah. um but boring is noyoso okay um whereas annoying is something that's irritating irritating yeah. okay Okay, and guys, let us know if you have any other questions. Do we have any other vocabulary we can use to describe art? 
Uh, I could say, for example, maybe um, organic. Mm, very nice. We can use organic, like for when we talk about shape or form. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about interpretive? Interpretive. Wow. Interpretive. I it's like an inter. It. It's an interpretive painting. It's open, like I said earlier, open to interpretation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so I want to, before we have a bit of time left, so before we finish, I want to move on to describing a painting. Okay, describing a painting. Okay, so these are just positions that we use. Okay, so positions that we use when we're describing and also anything like this. If you're describing also a photo, a photograph, you can use these positions to say, oh, here uh, on, the, on the right, at the top. Okay. Okay, so just kind of when you're telling someone what is in something. Okay. So... So here, for example, let's describe this painting, okay? Here mm -hmm. we have Primavera by Botticelli, and this mm -hmm. painting has what? Well, it has four figures, mm -hmm. okay? And it looks like it is, what do we say? This is the sea, right? So does anyone know what we say whenever we are near the sea? So when we're we near say, the sea, we are? We are by the sea. Perfect, exactly, by the sea. Mm -hmm. So as Sean said, so we have in this painting, we have four figures by the sea, Very four good. figures by the sea. And what could we call, so here, if I'm looking at, I'm just gonna, show the positions okay the positions mm -hmm. um just so we can discuss them so okay so at the bottom of the painting does anyone know what we call uh what she is on Ooh. okay what she is standing on that's a good question hmm I'll do this for for dramatic effect. She is on. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, she is on. Does anyone know? Uh, Does anyone know? Write to us what it's called. Shh. Uh, sh <laughs> what the? <laughs> she is on. A shell, everybody. A shell, okay. exactly. She is on a shell. Okay, on a shell. Perfect. Okay, so this is obviously a lot bigger than the ones we see by the sea. But yeah, it's a big <laughs> shell. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice beach chair for the, a chair for the beach, a shell. Yeah, exactly. This is very special. Uh, okay, and on the left... Uh, what can we say? What are the two figures doing on the left? Oh, man. That's this, difficult. That's difficult. If if someone does... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody at home. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, it's... We can say, we can use an adjective, to, uh, to, we can describe it, but we can also use, there's a verb to do this. So like if I'm with a balloon, <laughs> they're doing the same. <laughs> so they are, should I do it, Lisa? Should I do it? Yeah. I did it. Yeah. I did it. Blowing. <laughs> they okay. are blowing. Okay. Exactly. So the same actually for kids, like to blow a bubble, to blow, blow a balloon. Okay, to blow mm -hmm. a balloon, it's the same type of thing. So on the left, okay, because I think the the idea is they are blowing her to shore, isn't it? They're blowing her to so. the to the seashore. 
Yeah, they are they are the wind. They represent excellent Giovanni. They represent the wind. Excellent. excellent. Really good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't remember the figure on the right, what does she represent? I think she represents the spring because ah. she has she has a, a clothes that are that have flowers and different types of plants. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. So yeah, so just in terms of the positions, you probably know these already, but just to go through them. So on the right, on the left, uh, at the top, okay, at the top here, mm -hmm. uh, and then at the bottom, so I'm using it on the screen here, at the bottom, okay, at the bottom, and then in the middle here. My face in is middle. in the middle. Yeah, there's your okay. face. There you are. <laughs> I am. Okay. So, um, just before, because I don't want to, I wanted to do something else before we finish, if that's okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so want to take a look here at practicing uh, some of the past simple. Okay, mm -hmm. the past simple. Um, okay, so we have an example here about Dali. Okay, mm -hmm. so picture A is Dali, like we were talking about, Salvador Dali. So here, this is the past simple because obviously Dali is uh, no longer alive. So Dali was a surrealist artist. Okay, he was born in 1904. He was from Spain. He was Spanish. Okay, so from the country, Spanish, the nationality. Okay, the nationality. So we want to practice a little bit of making sentences to describe these artists. Okay, so this is giving a little bit of, what would we say, like a, a little biography, a mini exactly. biography? A, a mini biography, yes. Exactly. So what I would like uh, to invite people, if you want to practice, uh, to choose me. Okay, what, what we want to do, guys, is we want to choose maybe one or one artist and write down their biography, okay? So in this time now, I'll give you a minute or two, let's write down uh, Botticelli's biography. Artist, Van Gogh. Candice Van Gogh, connected. Sorry about that. There was a there was a, a a big delay. Can you hear me now, Lisa? No, something. Sorry, it froze. Uh, <laughs> it just got overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Sean. What were you saying? Nothing. Um, there was a pause for at least about thirty seconds. So I think yeah. you and I both said, let's now write a small biography. Choose one artist. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So if you want to practice using the past simple, okay? Mm -hmm. And remember, it's either, well, actually, in this case, they're all men. So he was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but while we are waiting for you guys at home, you can repeat with us. Let's choose one artist, for example. So repeat with mm -hmm. us, okay? So Turner was a landscape artist, okay? Mm -hmm. Everybody repeat with us. He okay. was born in 1775, okay? He was from England, and he was English, okay? So I hope you guys repeated with us because it was a lot of fun. Yeah, very good. Exactly. So just to practice speaking and using your past simple as well, okay? Um. So will I do one more for people to repeat with us? Yeah, go ahead, Lisa. Okay. I think that's a great idea. So Botticelli, so you can repeat with, uh, with us. So Botticelli was a Renaissance artist, okay? Was a Renaissance artist. He was born in 1445. Uh, he was from Italy and he was Italian. Excellent. Okay, he was Italian. Okay, guys. Cool. 
Okay. And also we're coming to the end as well. So if you have any questions, anything else you would like to ask us, please feel free. Okay, please feel free to write to us. Okay. And while we are waiting for some questions or comments, let's do a little review. Okay. Exactly. So for example, Lisa, do some um, indications on the screen so that we can review okay. indicating. So we have exactly. in the, oh, at the top. <laughs> okay, at the top. Top, yeah. In, in the, the middle. middle. Okay. Okay. Uh, on, on the, the right. Right. I'm <laughs> on the right. Yeah. Is it the yeah, is it the, it's the right but, but on this on the screen i think it's the left on okay the fine left. on the left <laughs> on the left on yeah. the right on the right, on the right. and at the, at the bottom bottom okay at the bottom and Excellent. we had our different types of uh so styles of painting so we had impressionist uh we also had surrealist Okay, and we also looked at uh, some different examples. So still life and figurative, as Sean said, figurative painting. Uh, help me out, Sean. I can't remember everything. We also <laughs> had statues and sculpture. Uh, we had landscapes and nature. Okay, and we also exactly. talked about the artists' lives. Okay, exactly. And remember as well, uh, when we talked about um, your favorite type, so favorite type of art is, or also uh, my favorite museum is, okay? Exactly. My favorite museum or my favorite gallery is, okay? And how often you visit them, how often. Excellent. Okay. So guys, if there are no more questions, I think we'll leave it there for now, but you mm -hmm. can tune in uh, to more webinars. Uh, Sean, have you got a four? Five later, or we probably uh, have more. I, I at have. One I have different levels. I don't have any okay. more four to five. But stay tuned, guys. Follow us through uh, Facebook and Instagram for any kind of update, so that you can always follow along and be with us uh, every day of the week. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, guys, for your participation. Thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Thanks, Lisa. Bye, guys. Thank you, Sean. Bye.